prospects game? How's the experience been so far? Yeah, it's been good. Obviously, uh, you know, getting to getting to know everyone and, and see uh, you know some guys you don't see during the season is it's obviously nice and uh, you know it's been fun and we're pretty pumped to obviously get the game going tomorrow. Back home for you, essentially. You know, how does it feel to be uh, back in Vancouver? I know you were out here earlier. Season, but how exciting is it to be back yeah, it's awesome. I think you know, obviously, lots of family and friends gonna gonna be there tomorrow and stuff. So, uh, you know, like like you said, they're back here in November, and you know, it was a lot of fun. So, uh, pretty pretty exciting, and looking forward to that. It's a long season, of course. You have two World Juniors this summer, and that, that game is like it's another big thing for you this year. Uh, yeah, I was always looking forward to it. I think uh, you know, when everything was announced and stuff, and. Um, you know, I think everyone here was, was really looking forward to it. So, uh, you know, we're uh, pretty excited to get going tomorrow. Considering the situation, you just want to have fun in that game or there's no pressure, of course? I don't know. I mean, I think, uh, you know, we're all here. We're, we're excited to, you know, be with these, these top players in the league, obviously. And uh, it's going to be, you know, a pretty fun experience. And, you know, we all, we all want to play well. That's just a competitor in all of us. But, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a cool event and we'll have a lot of fun. How tough it is to have like chemistry with players that you don't play with normally. Uh, it makes it easier when you know the players are, are as good as they are here, and um, so I think that that definitely helps. But you know, whenever you're coming in with guys you never played, it's going to be a little different. But uh, I think we can figure that out pretty quick. How did you find the testing? It was good. Uh, it was pretty chill. Nothing, nothing too crazy. You ever done something with their, the wristbands like that? Uh, I think once when I was younger, but not not for a while. Good. I mean, you know, obviously back to back to kind of normal, and it's been nice to you know be with the be with the team. Obviously in Regina and stuff. So um, you know, obviously you miss you miss those guys when you're gone, and uh, it's been good. We've we did really well the past. I think we're on a, you know four of, four out of our last five. So uh, it's been good. The first game. Tell me about the pace. Did you found hey, what's going on. It's not the same pace as, as it was in Alabama. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, I think. Maybe a little different, but uh, you know, both both good league or good good league and, and a good tournament, obviously. And um, you know, I think you gotta gotta get used to it a little. But uh, it's, they're both both good hockey. Connor, where have you seen the biggest growth in your game this season? What is the thing that maybe you focus on the most, and you're happy with the results that you've gotten so far? Um, I think kind of overall game. I want to you know improve kind of all around the ice, and uh, that's something that you know you do with the help of coaches and obviously experience playing playing in the Western and stuff. So uh, I think I've, I've improved a little bit on that. Anyone in the WHO who's in this game who you think flies under the radar or stands out to you when you've played against them? Uh, there's a lot of guys. I think uh, you know a lot of guys I've played with growing up that are really good. It's, it's definitely hard to pick one. So um, you know, I mean, I could probably go down the list and say you know a lot of guys. I was going to ask you about the guys that you grew up with and uh, how fun is it to reunite with them in a situation like this and be out there together. Yeah, it's awesome. Obviously, it sucks about you know Crystal not being able to come. We were we were pretty excited to get to play again and stuff. We're we're super close, but uh, you know there's a lot of guys that grew up in Vancouver and um, you know all those guys. And I'm pretty good buddies with Danielson as well. So uh, to come here and, and know all those guys and obviously have experience playing with them and stuff is uh, is definitely makes it a lot more enjoyable. Talk to us about Benson. Yeah, he's a, he's a hell of a player. I mean, um, you know he's got all that skill and he's such a hound on the puck too. I think that kind of goes unnoticed for for people watching that. Um, he uh, he's so good on the forecheck and taking pucks and stuff. Then obviously that he's got that got that skill set. So um, he seems to always get a lot of a lot of points against us in uh, in the dub. But um, no, he's uh, he's a great player. Someone you'll be watching at Forge tomorrow night. Yeah, I think we're on the same line too. So uh, it's exciting, and um, you're looking forward to, to play with him. I played with him growing up in spring hockey a bit. So looking forward to to reuniting that. How special is it not to only be playing in this event so close to home, but also be the captain of uh, Team Red? Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. I think uh, you know you you watch as a kid, and that's something you want. But um, you know, I think it I think it's that much different than anyone else here. It's just uh, you know, see a letter on your jersey, but uh, it's definitely cool to be recognized for that. And for uh, all the talk about you and, and how special this draft year is, how cool is it to see so many other guys from the Dubs, the ones that you grew up with, and the ones that you've been playing against, representing in a game like this? Yeah, it's good. I got. I think I know like every 05 basically here that's in the dub, and they have a relationship with them. So to see you know all the success they're having and stuff is uh, is really cool to watch. And you know I think uh, you know for all those guys, it's uh, it's, a, it's an exciting time, and um, it's cool to have them kind of on the road with, with you. What, did, what is it that makes this draft class so special from your perspective? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think most drafts have uh, you know some pretty good players, but. Um, 
you know, I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of guys, and uh, you know, you can go league to league and find you know a lot of a lot of good players. So uh, I think it's I think it's good. I mean, you probably ask more of scouts and stuff that watch watch every draft closely what the if there's a difference or anything. But um, you know, I, I know a lot of guys like I said, and there's definitely a lot of a lot of high skill and good players. Another guy that I went to ask you about, you know, pretty well, Jagger. Um, coming into this, you, you guys have been friends for a long time. Yeah. What's it like to be competing against him? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, obviously we're, we're rivals in the dub with Mushan and Regina. Uh, you know, but we talk a lot. We're uh, you know texting all the time and stuff. So uh, to see him, we were on the same flight and stuff. So to get to spend some time with him was was nice. And um, you know, it's always fun to compete against a player like that. And uh, you know, obviously see uh, see what he does tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be pretty good. What do you think the vibes gonna be like for the game tomorrow night? Is it gonna be a wide open, crazy, high scoring affair, or is there gonna be some emotion as well? I don't know. I mean, we're all we're all competitive, and no no one wants to lose. So um, you know, I think we're gonna we're gonna be playing hard, and um, you know, I don't know what the score is gonna be or anything, but you know, I know everyone will be competing and trying to win. It's not like an all star game. It's not like an NHL all star game where we don't see scores like ten to seven or something like that. Because all the players that are there have to go in their strengths, and some of them are of course playing on the boards and stuff like that. So it's gonna be more like a regular game. Yeah, it will be. I mean, I watched last year. There's a few big hits and stuff. So, um, you know, it's gonna be gonna be a game. We're gonna want to win, and um, you know, it's gonna be competitive. So, I think uh, you know that's gonna be pretty exciting for, for the fans watching to you know, not only see the see the guys here, but see us competing and see us uh, you know obviously trying to win. There's a lot of talk about how you're able to elevate on the big stages. And I mean, is there anything that changes in your mentality when you approach the game? And is is this a kind of game where the spotlight's kind of bright and there are a lot of good players here? Where that kind of triggers in your in your mind? your mentality for the game? Uh, I mean, I prepare the same way every single game, so, um, you know, I think that's something for me. I don't want to, obviously, there's there's going to be bigger games than, than others, but, um, you know, for myself, I treat everyone basically the same and, and prepare the same, and obviously, uh, I think that kind of helps me mentally going in.